In the Edwardian age, London was a kind of musical comedy factory. Hit shows were prefabricated here and then exported to New York. This transatlantic trade meant that there was plenty of opportunity for someone on the make, someone like Jerome Kern, a young American composer. Kern spent a lot of time in London's theatre world, and back in New York, he discovered there was quite a market for Floridora sound-alike tunes. When American producers came to stage these shows fresh from London, they were often disappointed. Musically, they could be a bit patchy. And Kern was in the perfect position to be a kind of show doctor, replacing the weaker tunes with songs much more to Broadway's taste. How'd you like to sing with me? I like to. How'd you like to sing with me? Well, rather. Sit beneath the love. But Kern was no hack. This son of a German Jewish immigrant had studied classical composition in Heidelberg. And he was a second generation New Yorker a product of the modern city that had become a cultural melting pot. From these elements of the old and new world, Kern forged the sound of the 20th century musical. First heard in 1914, when he added songs to yet another imported British show. One song in particular set fire to everything that had come before. They Didn't Believe Me was intimate, romantic and beautiful. The first modern Broadway ballad and as such, a template for the 20th century love song. And when I told them how wonderful you are, they didn't believe me, they didn't believe me. Your lips, your eyes, your curly hair are in a glass beyond Wonderfully relaxed number. That 4-4 four, four motif there. Like a buggy ride. We're jogging along with this song. And at the time, most sort of declamatory love songs tended to be waltzes. They tended to be in three time. It makes it much more intimate. It's, it's like we're kind of listening in on a conversation. Even including the lyric of, uh, and when I tell them, and I'm certainly going to tell them, the, the implication being, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me, I wouldn't keep it to myself. That feels almost like, for the period, a kind of street slang thrown into the song. This is why the song is so revolutionary, is because it's not declamatory. If anything, it's inviting us in and allowing us to feel its warmth. And when I tell them 